Hello and welcome to Chemistry Nuggets, where you can polish your knowledge and clear your all the doubts. So friends, today's video is about the oxidation number of iron in Fe3O4. So this is an exception case. So we are not going to do it in a normal way as we are doing like general calculations plus and minus. We need to do something else. So let's start. So first of all, we can say Fe3O4 is generally known as ferrous ferric oxide. Or so many names it has. And we need to find the oxidation state with the help of the structure only. So the structure of Fe3O4 is something like oxygen in the center, then Fe and Fe oxygen like this and then oxygen Fe oxygen. See carefully. 3 Fe and 4 oxygen. So this is the exact structure of Fe3O4. Now from here we will count the number of bonds which will lead to the calculation of the oxidation number. Since the what is the basic of this? The base of this calculation is if there is a bond between A and B and B is more electronegative then what will happen? The bonding electrons will move towards B and B will become slightly negative and A will become positive. This only concept we will put here. So whatever the electron active will take the electron and become negative. Here in the case of this Fe in between iron and oxygen. Oxygen is more electron active so the electron will move towards oxygen and in this bond FeO bond oxygen is acquiring minus one charge here on this bond and iron plus one charge. In the same way in this bond oxygen is having minus one and iron again plus one and from this bond also oxygen is having minus one and iron plus one. So total how many charges are there on iron? We can say like iron is having plus 3 because 3 times oxygen is taking the electron with the help of 3 bonds. In the same way here again 1 bond, 2 bond, 3 bonds. So here also iron is having plus 3 charge. Now come to the this last uh, iron here we can see only two bonds are there with the oxygen it means two times electrons are pulling so we can say from here plus one and from here plus one it means total we can say plus two charge so this iron is having plus two charge so in that case we can say in ferric Ferrous, or we can say in Fe3O4, two of the iron is acquiring plus three charge, and one iron is acquiring plus two charge. And oxygen, on the same way, each oxygen is having minus two charge. See, we can say one from this bond and one from this bond. In this oxygen, one from this iron minus 1, 1 from this iron. Here also oxygen is added to two iron atoms. So we can say 1 from 1, 1 from 1. So again every time oxygen is having, we can say minus 2 charge. So we can write like this minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So, and we all know that in general practice oxygen is, is always having minus 2 oxidation state just leaving few exceptions where oxygen is showing plus 1 or my sorry minus 1 or minus half that all are exceptions we will talk about it later so here 
we can say two iron are having plus three charge and one iron is having plus two charge two of the irons are having and one iron is having plus two charge and this is our answer for the oxidation state of iron fe3o4 that's all for today thank you